Oh yeah, it is rolling, even though we can't see the screen. Okay. So, we're going to talk about what our experience has been so far. And that was my son had mild symptoms, runny nose, sore throat. His symptoms ended uh, about three days ago, except for the fact that he woke up this morning and he's really tired. My wife, on the other hand, is having mild to moderate symptoms. And she has the runny nose, um, like a faucet today and tiredness, achiness, pain, um, no cough, uh, no real bad sore throat, uh, some headache and some fever. Yes. Um, so, so far me and Vivi, Vivi had a headache with her brother for two days and then nothing but she didn't test positive and I had allergy symptoms last week but I didn't test positive either even with the PCR so um, we're not sure uh, we have it we're in northern Michigan and it's not so easy in northern Michigan to get uh, monoclonal antibodies so five days from my wife's symptoms first starting she was able to get an appointment to get monoclonals, and that would be Tuesday this week. Today's Sunday, um, but of course, if she would have got them two days ago, she'd probably be fine right now. And uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. They say that the reason is is because uh, they don't have enough workers or whatever. But I can't imagine that any entrepreneur wouldn't open up a clinic like overnight, like a fireworks stand on the Fourth of July, and people are willing and ready and want, you know, ready to pay money for those antibodies in the cities. That's what they have. And, uh, you know, down South as well. So they're just, I guess in a rural area and there's just not a lot of access to things, uh, and not very fast. So, uh, they're confined to their bedrooms. So we kind of pretty much ask them everything we want through window. Uh, like, the 1900s Spanish flu or whatever, right? <laughs> How's everything going, Mama? Good? You need anything, let us know. We just got her some water with some turmeric in it. We've got uh, some tea for her with some Manuka honey. Hey, Kaden, how are things going in there? Feeling all right? Just, uh, just tired? Okay. Yeah, symptoms are just tired, so. We get up, we take showers every day, we take really good care of ourselves, have lots of good hygiene. Uh, you think, do the right things, you know? But, uh, hopefully my situation's a little different, having CML leukemia. Hopefully I can just roll up to the ER and get my monoclonals without waiting in line. Uh, my wife has a heart thing and of course she's a caretaker too, right? So uh, we definitely miss having her around. Uh, yeah. Um, what else can I say? Um, you think it's been long enough to go check the test? Okay. All right. If you have any questions about uh, any of it, just write it down in the comments and I'll try and answer as best I can. But uh, yeah, it's been a few days. My wife's been down for four days, three days, three days. Hit her on Friday real hard, so it's Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. back it up back it up now when I did these tests last Tuesday was it last Tuesday yeah. yeah last Tuesday they showed up pretty quick so mine looks like mine appears to be negative
my daughter's appears to be negative as well. So it looks like we both are still okay. Mine looks a little faint, but it hasn't been the full 15 minutes. So let's wait um, and make sure, but pretty sure because my son's, when he tested positive, that thing went right off the bat. You didn't even have to wait 20 seconds. Of course, if you're having all the symptoms too, it probably probably helps to prove that you have it. So we don't want it. We don't have to have it. Now I know that her brother, he had two uh, Goodwill shots for his sports physical right before this all came on. So maybe we lowered his immune system down pretty low with those shots and he got exposed to a little bit of COVID and got it um, because we've been really lucky up until now and we've all been around COVID. Uh, it's, and our school never shut down last year. It was, it was going all year long and kids were going in and out with COVID. So I think we might've just lowered him down a little bit and that's how he contracted it. I'm not sure, but um, looks like we're good here. Yeah, so we'll keep you updated and let you know. I do know that the World Health Organization is studying the Gleevec right now as of August 21st um, for people in the hospital with COVID. Uh, obviously, it doesn't make sense for everybody to take my drug, but uh, uh, people that are in the hospital already and that are having a real hard time, they're giving it to them an IV to shut down the leaking into their lungs and causes the ARDS. And apparently, it attacks some of the protein of uh, whatever. So. I don't know. You have to refer to the link that I leave in the description uh, to find out more information about the link between COVID and Gleevec. But um, yeah, it looks like we're still in the clear. Well, we've done a really good job of keeping ourselves healthy. So let's hope we don't find out uh, we didn't. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.